On Spotlight, we have someone who had worked behind the scene within the entertainment circle. Now, although many will know him more as a private investor within the oil sector and more recently as a politician, Tony Cole has also done a bit of work within the entertainment industry. And that's why he joins us today on Spotlight. What team it is? Uh, Hanatu, a short film about rediscovering hope, confidence and courage to get out of a perceived hopeless situation is an entry point in the front-end entertainment for businessman turned politician Tonye Cole. And the interest is simple, a drive to help change the negative narrative about the country and its citizens. Many years back, when Nollywood started, in fact, it wasn't even called Nollywood, it was just starting, and people... One of the things that I realized as an international business person going abroad was that we had an issue of perception in Nigeria. And it was a tough perception. In other words, there were, if there was one thing that they thought every Nigerian was, regardless of your background, regardless of your business, was corruption was something that we had a tag for. Everywhere you went, they would say that you are corrupt. Too. And the corruption was that you were either 419 or you were a drug carrier. That's how business. If you were a government person, then you are just a thief. End of story. But it was bad. And then the movie industry started, and I had friends who were going into the movie, and then they picked it up. But the stories, going back then, the stories were of black magic a lot. Like if it was not, if Juju did not happen inside the movie, then he hadn't started. And I remember going to India. Hmm? I remember being in India many years ago. And a taxi driver in India, ah, Nigeria, I love Nigeria. Hey, your Juju is very big. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, no, no. There is power in this thing. And then when I started taking a look at it, I said, look, we are not Americans, none of us. We watch American movies over and over again. And Americans will tell you, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Where did you hear that? The U.S. does not negotiate with terrorists. It's from one movie or another. Yet we speak as if we are inside the U.S. government. You know, and they will tell you, every American movie will tell you over and over, no matter how hard you try, the law of God, the uh, law enforcement will always win. The bad man can, you know, so they tell certain stories. And at the bottom of it is the patriotism of America over and over and over again. They say the U.S. is the greatest, the U.S. is number one, and it starts getting into your head. So I said, we can do something with the Nigerian stories. We can begin to tell our story and we can change the perception of who we are such that the outside world will see us differently and we ourselves will begin to see ourselves differently. And that's where the interest came because I know the power of what you do. Although Mr. Cole's immediate dreams are more in the political ring now, his views on the industry means he hopes to use it as a potent tool in his political journey, especially in his home state, Rivers. Now, when you look at the demography of the youth and superimpose it on certain areas that we have been talking about, you find that it's exactly the same demography. Entertainment, movies, where the people who have the most agility and are ready to do all the things, not just in the front, but also in the back with the technology and all of that are this demography. So if you take entertainment and movies just as one, you already have a whole background of people that you can remove from unemployment, that's one. Music and dance, again, they are the ones with the energy to do that. Again, bring them out. Talent, music and singing is universal. Everybody can. What lacks is who is giving the opportunity for you to do it. Bonner Boy is from River State. And that alone should be able to move people into, into that industry. So that's another one. So River State has that ability to pull. You should not have only one center of entertainment in the country. You shouldn't. And so one in the East, River State is poised to do so, and you can do it. While his battles in the political space are right there before him, Tonya Cole remains optimistic about using entertainment as one of the ways of fostering development.